This is Phil Chandler and here's an idea I thought I'd share with you. This came to me while I was working on the so-called pagoda hive, the big vertical stroke horizontal hive. Um, I made these small units as stackable so that they could take either top bars or half dadent frames. So that's the right dimension for half dadent frames but of course you can easily put top bars in there as an alternative. And then I thought this stuff is 4x1, it's uh, 100 millimeters by 25 millimeters, 4 inches by 1 inch thick. So 4 inches is equivalent to 3 combs built by bees. Uh, if, let's think of it in millimetres for a moment. If that distance there is 100 millimetres, a third of that distance is 33 and a bit millimetres, 33 and a third millimetres, which is almost precisely the pitch of honeybee comb when they're making comb for, especially when they're making comb for brood purposes. And so I thought, well, what if we pin thin strips of wood like this, this is half round doweling, such that when you put two of these boxes side by side, the spacing overlaps and each of these, these each of these represent a, a dis, the, the space between a comb. This distance here is the same as this distance here, okay? Which means that they could hang three combs inside one of these boxes if we simply put it up the other way. So now we've got two boxes, if I put the camera under here you can see two boxes and in this space which is something larger than a half dadent comb in fact on a, on, a, on a frame, this is uh, 12 inches, 30 centimeters vertically, this is about 9 inches, nearly 9 inches across. So there's enough space here to hang quite a reasonable size comb. So I'm thinking maybe this is the makings of a new hive design in which these, each of these boxes represents uh, potentially a three comb nucleus because you could have an entrance hole down here on each box if necessary, plug it up with a cork when you're not using it and then each box becomes a self-contained unit or could do by simply placing a thin wooden panel both sides of it. So you could make up a, a, a hive, you could either hang these on rails, this, this could be a rail here, or they could stand on a flat surface and all you'd need over the top of it is just something to keep the roof, the, the rain off. But you could have quite easily um, what could be a very versatile hive. Now as I say this is only an idea, it may be a completely crazy idea, it may not work in practice, um, all sorts of things might happen, they might cross comb it, they might um, mess it up one way or another for the beekeeper, but I think there's enough of an idea there um, to, to, to do some playing with. So if anybody wants to experiment with that, I'd love to see the results. If I, if I can find a swarm and make a few more boxes like this, I shall experiment myself. But uh, I would invite you, if this is uh, in any way inspiring, to consider playing with it and see what you can do with it.